What's up guys, it's me Jan here back again with another video and uh, this time around I will be taking a look at, uh, at that how much of a difference a field of view setting makes in driving a rally car in a game. Uh, we're gonna test it firstly with a mathematically correct field of view which I normally use and then with like way too low field of view and then with way too high field of view just so that you get a bit of a comparison and uh, hopefully it will encourage you to mathematically count your appropriate field of view for racing games because you know that shit helps a lot but uh yeah let's take a look first at the field of view counter that i'm using so you guys can also get appropriate field of views for your games and uh yeah here we have my pretty much favorite and uh the most used field of view calculator that i use at the moment uh it's uh this uh, beautiful, beautiful site made by Andy F. And uh, yeah, here you can see the horizontal FOV, which is used in most games. And here we have the vertical FOV that is used, for example, in Assetto Corsa. And if I also remember properly, it's used in Automobilista as well. And uh, yeah. You have to measure your distance to the screen from your eyes for this and uh, mine is 53 and uh, as it is centimeters i click that inches box to be non-ticked and uh, my screen size is uh, 27 inches so i click it here and bam there i have my field of view settings and uh, here here we can see as i said the horizontal and here we have the vertical so in a set of course i use 25 degrees and uh, what's also nice is that there are these other values for popular games as well which use their own bullshit measurements uh, instead of just you know angles degrees of angle so uh yeah for for race room racing experience i would have 0.6x and uh for richard burns rally i have 0.1.03 and uh for dirt i have 0.1 and uh, yeah it's that easy and uh, i'll be linking this into the description and uh, also another one if you want to try that instead but uh, those two give quite uh precise results uh similar and whatnot so uh, yeah but this is just my favorite for the visual pleasures that it provides my beautiful eyes but yeah le let's now see how a run with a proper mathematically correct field of view looks in richard burns rally And uh, here we are at the start of the stage, and uh, we are running the mathematically correct field of view for my setting, or for my rig. And uh, yeah, obviously it's different for everyone, for each rig since the distances and whatnot change quite a lot. But uh, here in my, my rig now, this uh, monitor showcases all the correct distances and severities for the corners as if i were to drive a real car and it acts like a screen door to the virtual reality where i'm driving this and uh, yeah the speeds look normal and uh, you can see the severity of the corners the differences between it so it's not like every corner is super tight or that every corner is uh, super easy or you know I don't know flat mild I don't know the proper word for it sorry but uh, yeah, there's actually differences between the corners and uh, it's quite easy to make notes since there is a like a, an actual difference between the corners and uh, yeah it's also good to have the mathematically correct field of view for all the games you have as, as in for racing 
since uh, then you will have the uh, same uh, idea of distances and whatnot in different games instead of having to break at, at distances that look completely different between different games. So uh, yeah, that's, that's really important in my opinion uh, to have the proper field of view settings in all the games. It also makes it easier to jump between different games since you have more or less the same visual clues when you're driving instead of having a shit field of view in one game and a good in other one and so on. And uh, yeah, Empty Box has made a good video about field of view and the importance of it. And, uh, I'll be linking that to the description as well. And, uh, yeah, I recommend for all of you to watch it as well. Fuck. And uh, yeah, I used to have an improper field of view earlier as well. And it took me a bit of getting used to, to that field of view. But uh, as I've been now, been driving for, with a proper field of view ever since uh, summer. It's been really weird after that to go back to the old field of views and whatnot. And now we have a field of view setting that is uh, that would be appropriate if I had my screen one meter away from my uh, from my eyes. So this is for the current setting. It's uh, it's way too small of a field of view, and uh, it makes the corners look even more severe. And, uh, it also makes the car look that you're driving really slow and it messes up with the distances and whatnot, making them look uh, shorter than they really are. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really tricky all in all. But yeah, this is almost as close to what I had back when I first had the rig and started counting my field of view, more or less. So yeah, the speed looks a bit slow maybe, but uh, it is the same still. And, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm struggling a bit for the braking distances and whatnot. And uh, especially if I were to drive something that I am not as familiar with, I'd be having more trouble. But uh, it's, it's, it's tricky to visualize at what speed the car is really going. And I, I have to constantly think more. It doesn't feel as natural as it as it did on the earlier field of view setting since uh, obviously I've been used to it and uh, yeah, it still feels that the car is going more or less walking speeds at the moment and uh, yeah it's not, not a pleasure to drive really in my opinion as a uh, as uh, yeah, it just feels so wrong and, uh, it, of course if you want to have it like this yeah sure but it's gonna suck and, uh, yeah it makes the corners look really tight as in turning a lot and uh, makes the car look like you're going really slow and the distances don't really come properly to your eyes and uh, now we have a field of view that is appropriate if my monitor would be within 25 centimeters of my face and uh, yeah you can 
already see that this looks super fast compared to compared to the earlier ones and it turns look a lot less severe and a lot faster as well and uh, yeah I can see more onto the sides but I, I can see less to the Less ahead in a way, and uh, yeah, it's, this is easily the worst. As uh, I just have no idea whatsoever that where actually the distances are, and I'm really struggling with the breaking points and whatnot. Since I really have to think, and uh, yeah, you guys can see it as well. The distances between the corners are way longer than before and uh, yeah this is just this is just horrible and uh, yeah, as I said for this to be an appropriate field of view for me I would have to have my current 27 inch monitor within uh, 25 centimeters of my eyes so uh, yeah, it would be closer than my steering wheel, that would be super close. And at this corner, that was like left 3 or left 4, looked to be like a left 5 on a proper field of view, so yeah, it really distorts the vision. And at these little corners, that you can just go flat out, which you actually really, really can't. So, yeah, this is just... Horrible, <laughs> all in all. And, uh, I mean, yeah, you can get used to everything eventually, but uh, and uh, in a way, you could have uh, the same uh, wrong field of view as well. But uh, in the longer run, and especially if you're aspiring to transfer from uh, sim racing to real racing. Then I'd advise to have the proper field of views, since that can make you so much more consistent. And it, as you are seeing, one to one already in sim racing, it can make the jump easier between sim racing and real racing as well. But uh, yeah, even overall, it mathematically correct field of view makes you a lot more consistent since you don't have to constantly calculate in your head that actually I'm 100 meters away although it looks like I'm 150 meters away and whatnot so uh, yeah it's it's actually quite <laughs> important to have a proper field of view and it's one of those things that you really need to try so you can get a hold of it really and uh, yeah th those are the runs done and uh yeah, it, it is, in the beginning, it's a bit of a struggle to adapt to the proper field of view, but when you eventually do, it's uh, it's a lot easier to drive, and uh, as I said, it's easier to jump between different sims and whatnot, so, uh, and yeah, consistency goes through the roof compared to, especially driving with a too high of a field of view, and um, I don't know if you guys watched at the timings from the previous runs, but uh, I was fastest with the proper field of view, and uh, that was a time of uh, 255.3. And uh, then with the too small field of view, with the uh, monitor being imaginarily uh, at one meter away, I had a time of 255.49, so there wasn't much of a difference. But uh, so, uh, yeah, if you if you want to have an incorrect field of view, please do have a smaller than a higher than your mathematically proper one. And uh, yeah, then with the monitor being imagined to be 25 centimeters away from my eyes, the time was a uh, 3.08.3. So uh, yeah, there's quite a big of a difference. Uh, but that's just down to the fact that I really, really had to think and uh, you know, thinking is not my strongest point. So, uh, <laughs> but no, for real, I had to really think that how much of a distance there actually is, and I couldn't even see properly the difference, uh, the distances 
from on the road as the road was also being so small so uh, yeah also could help with the too small of a field of view that I had to drive with that early on more or less a couple of clicks closer maybe but um, yeah as I said before there's going to be a couple of field of view calculators linked in the description and also that empty box video about the topic if you got interested even more and uh, yeah that's all for now i hope you guys enjoyed i had fun and uh yeah i'll see you guys during the weekend there's gonna be a few streams then so uh, yeah thanks for watching i'll see you then bye bye